Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a page or news in SharePoint in private mode. Sometimes it's useful to create a content which is visible only for you and not for other editors in one SharePoint site. More specifically, you can create a content in private mode and then if you need help or support, you can share this page with your colleague. Once you completed the content, you can then post it and share it to everybody. So let's check it out together how you can create a page in private draft. Here I am in my SharePoint Global HR site. Before to create a news in private draft, I would like to show you the access to this SharePoint site. Clicking on Share Site, I can see the classic three rules Owners, Site Members and Site Visitors. As you can see, only Diego Siciliani, my colleague, can edit the content as member of this SharePoint site. Let me cancel and close this panel. Now, I'm going to create a news post. Let me click on New and then News Post. I'm going to reuse an existing template that I have here. This is a page template. I made a video how you can create page template. You can check the link in the description or in the upper right corner. Now that I'm ready to create this news post, I'm going to check create as private draft. I'm going to create a secret event that cannot be shared with my colleagues. Then I'm going to click on create post. I don't want to share this page with my colleague Diego Siciliani. I should be the only one that work on this content and eventually another colleague. First thing that you can notice on this page is the icon private draft. This page is visible only for me and Diego Siciliani, the other member of this site, cannot see this page. I will show you later. Another new icon that I have in this private draft mode is the shared draft. This because if I need help in building the content, I can share this private page with my colleague. Now let me add a title here. I added my title, Fiscal Year Results Event. And now let me change perspective. I'm going to open the same site, but has Diego Sicidiani. I am now in the site pages of the Global HR. If I refresh this page, there's no trace of my private draft page. This is because I created the private draft of the page as Giuliano and not Diego. Diego has no access. Now going back, let's say that I want to share this page with my colleague. I need help building the content of this page. All I need to do is go here on the icon share draft and now what I can do is just mention the person or the colleague that should help me with the content. In this case Adele Benz. Now I'm ready to share this news in private draft with Adele. The good news is that Adele has no access to the global HR even though ha has now rights to edit the page. Now that I shared this page, I can copy the URL and now I'm going to open another browser instance. So before to open directly the page, I'm going to open this site. As you can see, Adelevance has no access. Now that I am in the email, I can see that Giuliano has shared the fiscal year results event with me. Clicking on the button open, I'm now opening this private news. It is in private draft created by Giuliano. I can start edit the content and I can help Giuliano in building this page. This is now opened and edited by Giuliano. So all I need to do to give the chance to add elements to edit the page is save as draft. Now I am no longer editing the page and Adele Vance can access the page and edit the content. So let me make a refresh. And now there is for Adele Vance the button edit. Clicking on the button edit, now this, there is this pop-up that reminds me that the page is in private draft. 
Nobody else can see this page, but other events can help me in building the content of this page. Once I'm ready to push this content to everybody or to the visitors or members or owners of this site, all I need to do is just click on the button post news and then confirm by clicking again on post news. Now this page is visible to the people that have access to the SharePoint site. Going on the perspective of Diego Siciliani, if I refresh the site pages, I can see now fiscal here results event. Now that we have seen the private draft in SharePoint news and pages, you are ready to create content in SharePoint. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe and like. I hope to see you next time.